when it's late, sorry about that. All right, uh, it's rainy here and dark and cold, but we do need the rain, so that's fine. All right, so let's just start the um, practice as always with a little short pranayama. Inhale and arms up. <clears throat> Top of the lungs, hold it for two seconds and exhale. Again, inhale. Hold and exhale. And one more time. Inhale. Hold and exhale. All right. Inhale and arms up. And as we exhale, turn to the right. Very gentle twist <clears throat> to activate the body. And inhale back. Exhale left. And inhale back. And exhale right palm to the floor. Look over the left arm. And stretch. And inhale back. Exhale left. Look over the right arm. And inhale back. And let's go right again just a little deeper to adjust the depth. So I usually go on my elbow and uh, usually complain about it. And inhale back. Exhale left. Look over the right arm. And inhale back, and let's leave the arms out, small circles to the front, to wake up the shoulders, and backward. And now bend the elbows, close the backbones behind, and pull the palms to the front, and open, close the backbones, pull them to the front, and open, close the backbones, pull them to the front, and open up, palms toward the floor, and up, down, and up, and once more down, and up. All right, <clears throat> palms around the knees, shoulder circles to the front, that wakes up the back muscles, neck muscles, and backward. Now both to the front. And both backward. All right, interlace the fingers behind. Sit up straight. Only if the shoulders don't hurt, a little shoulder stretch, no need to force it. We don't want him, don't want to be in pain. And undo the arms, I mean, uh, fingers, interlace them above, palms inside out. Sit up straight and just a very easy lean or stretch to the right and back. Be very gentle and right and back. All right, undo the fingers. Let's warm up the neck. Look down at the belly button and roll the head around. And that's when I always disclose, please listen to your body from around here. If anything doesn't feel right, just please don't do it or modify it. Opposite direction. And one more round. All right, let's go up on our fours, warm up the back. Always get some cows. Arms are shoulder wide, legs are hip wide. Inhale into cat. And exhale, cow. Inhale, cat. Oh, feels good. Exhale, cat. Just a very gentle arch here. Don't overdo it. And cat. Now in cat, if we wiggle the tail, that's good for the lower back. Warms it up, loosens it up a little bit. Don't do that in cow, evidently. And once more, inhale, cat. Wiggle the tail and down to cow. 
All right, let's curl the toes and push up to down facing dog. Now it's a big stretch early in the class. It's a little chilly, so take your time. It's important not to pull any muscles over 50. They don't hit that well. All right, gradually find the best dog we can do this morning. All right, I think I'm getting there. So let's just bend the right knee. Ooh, feel the extra stretch. I certainly do. And straighten the right knee and bend the left knee. All right. And straighten the left <coughs> knee. Both legs are straight. Walk or hop toward the arms. And forward fold. Again, this may be a little big stretch. Gradually ease into it. Take the time. It's important. Okay, I think I'm getting there. So pull the tummy in. Inhale and arms up. Palms together, a little back bend. And palms together. Right. Okay, let's have one half salute and one full sun salutation to warm up. <clears throat> so inhale and arms up. The back bend. Exhale, fold. Don't forget the strong core that holds your back too. <coughs> Inhale, straighten the back, extend the back. Exhale, fold. And <coughs> pull the tummy in. Inhale and arms up. Palms together, little back bend. And palms to the heart. Okay, full sun salutation. <clears throat> Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. I have a frog on my throat. <clears throat> Inhale, straight on the back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look up, step back with the right leg. And get used to the stretch here. Left leg and plank. Nice strong plank. Chaturanga. You can put your knees down or just follow me. Lower the upper body. <coughs> Mini cobra. Up dog. Curl the toes and down dog. Step to the front with the right leg. And get used to the stretch here now. <coughs> and left leg follows and fold. Pull the tummy in. Inhale and arms up. A little back bend. And palms to the heart. Alright. Let's have a high lunge. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, straighten the back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look up and step back with the right leg. Stay high on the right toes. Right palm is on the floor. Lift up the left one. Try to look at it. And now left arm comes down. Find a balance for thigh lunge. High lunge. All right, a few more seconds here. Palms together, twist over the left knee. And back 
in Highland. Now palms on the floor, right knee is on the floor, flex the foot and low lunge. And palms on the floor, curl the right toes, move the left leg back, down facing dog. And lift up the right leg, bend the knee, and straighten, and bring it to the front, and stay high on the left toes, left palm on the floor, lift up the right one, try to look at it, and right arm comes down, find the balance for high lunge here. Palms on uh, palms together, twist over the right knee. And back in high lunge. Palms on the floor, left knee is on the floor, flex the foot, and low lunge. And palms on the floor, curl the left toes, move the right leg back. Down, 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 down facing dog. And lift up the right leg, bend the knee, straighten, and bring it to the front. Left heel is done for warrior two, and we're going to start with two today. <clears throat> so as I always say, make sure that the knees above ankle, outside edges are in the same line. And today I'll have a little wider step I try. I think it's going to work. All right, and arms up. Oh, make sure left is not sagging. Mm, it's burning already. Right palm up and reverse. And back to the center. Right elbow over right knee. And back to the center. Let's reverse it again. the center, right elbow to the right knee, look over the left arm, and back to the center, straighten the front leg for triangle, left hip goes to the left, <clears throat> reach over the right leg, look over the left arm, Whew, big stretch now, it's good. And left arm comes down, move the right leg back, down facing dog. And lift up the left leg, bend the knee, and straighten. And bring it to the front, and right heel is down for warrior two, and we're going to repeat the sequence on the left side. Again, make sure that we have a nice balanced step. I try to have a little wider step here too. <clears throat> All right. Now left palm up and reverse. And back to the center, left elbow over left knee, and back to the center, let's reverse it again, and back to the center, 
left elbow, left knee. Look over the right arm. And back to the center. Straighten the front leg. Right hip goes to the right. Reach over the left leg for triangle. Look over the right arm. And right arm comes down and move the left leg back. Down facing dog. And as we inhale, move the knees down to the floor, flex the feet. Shoulders, I mean, uh, wrist under shoulders. And lift up the right leg and left arm. Hold it strong. And we'll do fire hydrants today, slowly. So pull the elbows to the left and the <coughs> knee to the right and back. Second. And back. Third. And back. Fourth and out, and the last one and out. Whew. Now reach back, grab the foot, a little extra stretch here, and release the leg. Arm goes down, and right leg goes down. Let's have one cat in between. And now lift up the left leg. <clears throat> really strong core here, I'm pretty sure you noticed that. And so move the elbows to the right, knees to the left. And back. Second. And back. Third. Fourth. And the last one. Reach back, grab the left foot. Extra stretch here. And release the leg. Arm goes down. And left leg goes down. One cat. And now let's curl the toes. And push up to down facing dog which is a resting and stretching pose at the same time. If you have back issues after work, it's really good to relax it. Also the <coughs> extend, extended child is good too. So anyway, walk or hop toward the arms, forward fold. Should be a little easier. And that's when I do the deeper stretch by stepping on the toes, I mean my fingers under the heels. Actually you can do it like this too, depending how stretched you are. So this should be a good one too, putting the fingers under the toes. But I put the fingers under the heels and pull the head closer to the shins. I may do shoulder stand today, I think I'll do shoulder stand at the end of the class. So take, a, take the fingers away, interlace them behind. Only if the shoulders don't hurt when you do this. A little shoulder stretch. And undo the fingers. Pull the tummy in. Inhale and arms up. Palms together, a little back bend, and palms to the heart. Okay, let's have crescents. However, before, let's just have one chair, just one chair today. Inhale, arms up, and a little gap between the feet, down to chair. <clears throat> Put the tummy in, weight goes on the heels, so freely we can freely move the toes.
<clears throat> think about skiing. And now let's put the left elbow to the right knee, look over the right arm, and back. Right elbow, left knee. And back. And fold. And now as we inhale again, pull the tummy in, inhale and arms up. Arms together, little back bend, and arms to the heart. All right, let's do our couple of Crescent, <clears throat> little gap between the feet, inhale arms up and at first I like to just warm up, grab the left wrist, pull the body to the right, gently, and back, switch, left, and back, now palms together, stretch up straight, shake out the neck, big inhale, Pull the core and turn right. And back to the center. Again, stretch up straight, big inhale, shake out the neck. And left, really strong core. Tush. And back to the center and arms down. All right, let's do the side stretches. And we start with the feet pigeon, <clears throat> arms up. Begin here and fold halfway through and wait for like 10 seconds. I see the clock here. This is good for the back muscles. And re reach down, grab the outside edges of the feet. And now as we inhale, 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 left palm is in the front and lift up the right one. <clears throat> Try to look at it. And we can stay here. We'll move the right arm, grab the left thigh and pull the head to the right. And a few more seconds here. And now left palm is back on the floor. Right one lifts. Right one is down. Pulled again. And now as we inhale, the right palm is in the front, and lift up the left one. Try to look at it. Again, we can stay here. We'll move the left, move it to the right, grab the right thigh, and pull the head to the left. And now right palm is back on the floor, lift the left one, the left one is down, and let's fold again. <clears throat> And now push up, 
and let's move the feet closer to each other for prayer squat and down to prayer squat so um, I'm going to hold the stretchy part a little longer the deep stretches um, so yeah usually I, I keep it like 7-10 seconds but now we're gonna hold it for like 20 seconds 15-20 seconds palms on the floor move the knees together for toe balance Now palms on the floor, I mean floor, on the hips, and stand up, a few steps on the toes, and down. All right, let's do some very simple uh, balancing today. We're just going to do this. Put the palms on the left hip, and I try to find the solid, <clears throat> and lift up the leg. And just grab the big toe now it's already balancing if we can open it next it's a plus but the task is balancing so everything is good and change shake them out weight goes on the right foot right palm is on the right hip and lift up the left one Okay, it was a little shorter than it was supposed to be, but that's okay. Let's just go back <clears throat> on the mat. Inhale and arms up. Exhale forward, strong core. And walk out to the front for plank. Strong plank. And lower the body to the floor. And put the forehead on the floor. Palms next to the chest. Toes together, legs are straight. Without helping with the arms. So lift the arms up. Lift up the head. Really strong core. So lift up the head. Inhale. Mini cobra. And left ear is on the mat and now move the head palms next to the chest cobra this time toes together legs are straight inhale and push up <clears throat> elbows close to the chest shoulders away from the ears do not lock the elbows and three, two, one right ear is on the mat it's a good neck stretch And now turn the head, let's do one more, let's do one What? which one? Bend the knees, grab the heels, we'll do bow. And as we inhale, lift up everything and roll on the tummy. And three, two, one, palms next to the chest, curl the toes and push up. Toes together, knees wide, extended child to relax.
and pull the palms close to the knees and push up and where are we? We don't have too much time left because I have a dental appointment today. So let's bring last time the one I had was cancelled so that's why I have it again. All that rush for nothing. Oh, the doctor got COVID but he's okay now. So let's just put uh, the palms next to the hips and sit up straight. <clears throat> And inhale and arms up and grab the big toes and pull the head closer to them. All right, so we're going to stay here for 20 seconds or so. Alright, it's about that, so stand up, I mean, sit up, and let's just bend the knees, <clears throat> arms out, and let's just do a bow, just one bow here, a little more core. If your lower back is not good, please don't do this, or just make sure that you hold your tummy really strong so it doesn't hurt your back. few more seconds here and grab the knees hug them to the chest and I was thinking about doing shoulder stand plow and shoulder stand today so let's just gear we have time for that lift up the legs hug them to the chest all right so we're gonna have options here so I lift up my legs if you don't want to do shoulder stand, so you can just open the legs, straighten, bring it to the chest, or even different stuff. But I'm going to aim to shoulder stand, so be careful if you do plow with me and shoulder stand. Do not turn your head left and right, so just look at straight. So palms on the floor, and I like to grab the toes first and just pull it closer to the head. The hips start to lift up, which is fine. And then release the leg, palms on the floor, and push up for plow. Put the legs behind the head. And we can stay here or bend the elbows to aim the hips and just lift up the legs. Do not turn your head left and right, please. It can screw up your neck. And now, legs back again on the floor. Put the palms back on the floor. And before we put the hips back, put the palms facing down under the hips. We're going to go into fish. First put the legs down, bend the knees, and then straighten the legs. And we'll do fish to counter stretch the neck. So inhale and move the elbows under the head, under the shoulders. And relax the neck for fish. And take the elbows away, back on the floor, bend the knees. And lift up, move the palms away. And grab the knees to the chest, rock side to side. And let's do some spine stretch here. Arms either way. And put the left leg back on the floor. Right one over the left knee. But be careful, this is the deeper stretch. Move the knee to the left. Look over the right shoulder, do it slowly. Switch legs, 
Oh. Legs go to the right, knees go to the right, look over the left shoulder. Okay, so I should stay here too a little longer, yeah? I'm just going to stay the same time as first time, but I have to pay attention to stay a little longer in deeper stretches. So grab the knees to the chest, rock side to side, and turn to the right, or just sit up, and we'll do the last traditional stretches. Uh, let's just do a little butterfly-ish at first. So put the feet together, the head, up, the head at first and fold over, grab the toes and this when I try to stay down a little longer Kent pointed it out that I don't do that and, and he's right so I'll force myself to do that but now I forgot the timer so let's see five more seconds All right, now pull the feet closer to the hips for butterfly and butterfly, but butterfly for 10 sec uh, 20 seconds. All right, about right. So straighten the left leg and put the right one against the left thigh and arms up. And fold over for 20 seconds here. Well, I guess it's about right. I keep forgetting where I started. So change, arms up and down 20 seconds and up and now both legs are in the front and put the right leg to the left, outside of the left knee. We can bend the knee, we don't have to. And right arm is behind. And the left one is pushing the knee away. And here too, we'll stay 20 seconds. Pull the tummy in. Well, I guess it's about right. So let's just switch legs. This time the right leg is the outside. Left one, left arm is behind and the right one pushing the knee away. And we'll stay here a little longer as normally I do. Right about right and turn. Both legs are in the front and bend the knees, arms out. Slowly lie back down. Grab the knees to the chest, rock side to side. Give yourself a big hug for taking this time just for yourself, for happiness and balance. Palms up. Take a deep breath. And as we exhale, release all the tensions from the body and sink into Shavasana. And it's very important to stay down for at least four or five minutes. Just close your mind, try not to <clears throat> think about anything, just your own well-being. 
Anyway, thank you for following this class. If you did, I know I have at least two bears here. So hi, bears. Aggie is here. So that's all good. I'm very happy you guys are here. And, uh, and I have other people too, so everybody is welcome here. So uh, I had to do this class earlier because my den dentist was cancelled last time, so I, ha I have to go to the dentist right now, <clears throat> which is very important. So thank you for following this class, uh, or me, and see you back on Wednesday. And I may start uh, Fridays because my Friday class is... Uh, because of the rain and whatever is being uh, stopped for a while. So I do my Friday class from home. So namaste. See you on Wednesday if you want to follow me. Bye.